You may be familiar with an anchor or a bookmark as one of the tools that you can use in 90 Second Website Builder. Hi again, this is Greg Hughes, and I'm going to show you how bookmarks or anchors are used with your navigation. A bookmark, or sometimes called an anchor, is a way of putting a mark on your website. This is one right here that allows you to create a link to that particular part of the web page. So it's one thing to create a link to another web page or a link to another website, but an anchor or a bookmark lets you create a link to a specific part of the page of the website. Let me demonstrate. Here would be a good use for an anchor. We've got one right here at the top of the page. Now remember that anchors are something you only see in design mode. You don't see them in preview, nor would you want your end user to see the anchor because it should be hidden. It's something that works behind the scenes. But let's say we put an anchor here at the top of our page and we want people to be able to click a link that takes them back to the top. So what we've done is we've created an image down here at the bottom of the page. In fact, this is actually a font awesome icon of an up arrow, which makes sense. I'll double click on it and you can see we've chosen a font awesome icon with the arrow circle up and we've created a link to the bookmark up here. Now, this bookmark has a name. We named it when we created it. And if you go to the properties palette, since the bookmark is currently selected here, you can see what it's called. It's called bookmark one, which we could change here if we wanted to. In fact, let's call it top, since it takes us to the top of the page. So now it's called top. So now we've got a bookmark or an anchor at the top of the page, and then we've got a link to that bookmark. Let's double click on this image and fix that link since we changed the name of it here. So now we're linking to a page in this project, in fact this very page, and we're linking to a bookmark called top. So that's all we have to do to link to this bookmark. Understand we could also link to a bookmark on another page if we wanted to. We would just select that page here. But in this case, we're working with the same page. So we say page in this project, and of course it's the one we're on, so we don't need to select anything. And the bookmark was called top. So we're done. We've created a link from this object, a font awesome object, to this anchor, this bookmark, which is at the top of the page. Let's try it. If we click F5, we can preview. So when the user comes to the bottom of the web page and they click this image, boom, they're taken right back up to the top. Let's try it again because it happens really fast. I'm going to scroll down, click this, and you'll see we will instantly be back to the top of the page. Now, while that's convenient, it's a little bit too dramatic because people can end up back up the page so fast they don't really know what's happening. It almost looks like they went to a different web page or a different website because you can see the screen changes so quickly because it happens in an instant. Watch, I'll do it again. Click, and we're back to the top of the page. Well, there is an effect you can use with a bookmark that allows this to look much better and not disorient your user so they know where they're going. It's called smooth scrolling and I'm going to show you how it works. So we've created our bookmark and we've created our link to that bookmark with this image. But there's one thing we haven't done. We haven't made it smooth and here's all you need to do. We're going to double click on the bookmark and bring up the settings for it. There aren't many, but there are some. What we can do with the bookmark is we can have it be triggered with events, which is great. But in this case, all we're doing is we're checking one box. We're checking a box that says enable smooth scrolling. And we can play with how fast that happens and the type of scrolling it does. But for the most part, you're going to want to just default to linear. You can certainly play with these other effects if you want to, but I suggest this one. And of course, change the speed if you want. It's kind of fun to play with, but you can set it for the speed that you like. Okay, so all we've done is we've checked a box called enable smooth scrolling. And look at the difference in our effect. I'm going to click F5. We're previewing the website now. Here we are at the top of the page. Again, remember our bookmark is invisible. It's behind the scenes. The end user does not see that. And when the end user gets down to the bottom of the page and they click this now, watch the effect. There was a smooth scroll back up to the bookmark. And of course, that was the speed 600. It's a much more pleasant experience for the user because they can see exactly what's happening. They can see that they're actually going back up because the page literally scrolls. Instead of being in a blink of an eye, they can see where they're going. And of course, it works both directions. You don't have to just link up. You can link to any part of the page. So for example, let's say we wanted to make a link to the bottom of the page. Here's a navigation menu. It's called the CSS menu, in fact. And what we can do here is link to pages, link to websites, whatever we want to. But in this case, let's make a link 
from the contact button to the bottom of the page where our contact information is. So the first thing we're gonna need is a bookmark. That's what we make first because we need something to link to. So since we're going to be bringing them to the bottom of the page down here where the contact information is, we're gonna to need to put a bookmark down here. So the first thing we'll need to do is go over to the toolbox and grab a bookmark or an anchor and simply draw it down here where we want. Now we're just gonna put it slightly above where we want them to land. Again, this will be invisible even though we can see it in design mode. Let's go to the properties palette so we can change the name of it. It's selected and it defaults to the name bookmark one, but let's change it to something we can remember. Let's call it bottom. There's our bottom bookmark. Again, we go back to the canvas and we have a bookmark. Half our work is done, very easy to do. But now we wanna to link to that bookmark. So let's go back up to the top of the page, top of the canvas here, and let's double click on our CSS menu. This is the item we wanna to link to the bottom of the page. So we can double click on it or click the edit button and create a link. Now we're linking to a page in this project. Since we don't have to select a different page, it's the one we're on, we can leave that. But then we're gonna to go to which bookmark do we want to link to? You can see we've added one, it's in the pull down list. And obviously we wanna take the user to the bottom of the page. I'll click OK, click OK again, and we're almost done. Remember, we want this experience to be smooth for them. So let's scroll to the bottom of the page and look at the bookmark. We're gonna double click on it and make sure that we enable smooth scrolling. Click OK. Now our user can go both directions. Let's click F5. Remember, clicking this button brings them to the top, but now clicking this one brings them right down to the bottom where you can see the contact information. That's how you use bookmarks, also called anchors, with the effect called smooth scrolling in 90 Second Website Builder.